Welcome. What's up, everybody? Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm Ben. And I'm Rainy. And we are the Journals of Awakening. <laughs> and today, we are going to talk about... Yeah. Shot a blank. <laughs> Into the toilet. No. <laughs> we can't start on that. How do we start this podcast? <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, we could talk about the things people don't like to talk about. Bodily fluids. No, I'm just kidding. That's a weird one. I do not want to get into it. Please don't jump on that. Let's keep going with our brain. But I could have had so much content. On bodily fluid? Yeah, I could have talked about periods and shit. God, no. It's not weird. Chug a it's chug a chug a chug a chug. Breastfeeding, huh? Exactly. In public, that's right. Fucking do it. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. So, Is that a cat breastfeeding? Jesus! Uh, Cover it up! You know what I mean? Like, it's it's a natural fucking thing, people. So <laughs> I was going to the local cafe, and they have a little free library in there. Yeah. So I was looking at it, and I saw this book that's Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. It's not true. I'm just it's, kidding. Go on. Okay. And the author is a man and he's talking about what wh it's yeah it's called understanding both of the sexes or something okay but he should have written it with a woman <laughs> because i don't want some man trying to understand women okay yeah that's fair that's fair i don't care how womanly you are you didn't push a baby out you know what i mean I feel like that's not a fair thing to say. That's not. That's not fair because not everybody has because kids. Because I was, I was no reading. No matter how womanly you are. No, listen. I was reading this book. You're not straight and narrow. No. So I was that's reading. That's not right either. Shit. I was reading this book and it was about like transgender people, right? And so the question. Hey! The question that the woman said was like, what makes a woman a woman, right? Is it having babies? No, because some women don't have, you know, the. Right, right. To it. Right. Like, um, That's what I was going to say. Yeah, so exactly. What so what makes it? Oh, okay. So the, the, the reproductive organ. Yeah, some women don't have them. They get hysterectomies. Yeah, but Is that's that, not the way they were born. That's not true. Some women are born without them. Really? Yeah. Okay. So well, I don't know, dude. That's what I'm saying, right? So yeah, that's, that's why I don't do the label thing, man. Because it doesn't make sense. No, of course it doesn't. That's why since the beginning of time, I have been non-binary. It only counts if you, like, <laughs> feel that way, though, you know? I felt like it was no one's business. That's all. That's the only reason whether I ever always Whether you feel like it. a man or not? Yeah, whether I'm a man or a woman or I'm white or I'm black, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. So I always well, lie Well, but you do that, that. For statistically. <laughs> yes. Statistics. I love fucking up statistics. And there's tons of us out there, so stop believing statistics. Yeah, so <laughs> you, you do that based on statistics. But I'm talking about... I don't know, because everything's a statistic when it comes to that, you know, like a problem that they're asking you, are you male or female? So when I went to the doctor and it said, this is going to talk about gender identity, or do you prefer not to answer? So I put prefer not to answer and moved on. Obviously. Yeah, because I didn't. What does that have to do with my health? Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think on paper, it has nothing to do with your health. I think you can talk to your doctor about it, so your doctor can help you choose the best path for you. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't need to go, like, in the books. Like, that's not helping anyone. That's just a statistic. What does it matter if I'm gay or straight for a doctor's office? I think whoever's taking the time out of their day to get these statistics is wasting their time. <laughs> yeah, but they put them on doctor sheets. Doesn't so make that any way, sense. No, so that way humans feel like they have to answer, right? Because you're... Indoctrination, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I talked a lot about that today. By the way, guys, that tea that I'm drinking is from the last podcast almost three days ago now. It's delicious still. What? And I'm wearing the same outfit as I did last podcast. Oh! <laughs> I was so confused. Because <laughs> people are going to be like, I already saw this one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's hilarious. All right. Um, but yeah, I just think that any kind of identity is stupid, right? So I, for... Unless you're Batman. You definitely That's keep important. It a secret. Yeah. So I was... You can't see my facial expressions. Let me try that again. That's important. So anyway, so I was thinking, because I've always tried or wanted 
places to fit in, right? I've always wanted to be a part of a group because I've never been like part of a clique. I've never had mm -hmm. some sort of label mm -hmm. or something. I like this one. Yeah, so when I was <laughs> when I was becoming an adult, I wanted some sort of label or identity. Right. So I was like, you know, emo. Right. But I wasn't emo. I just, uh, after my breakup senior year, I kind of became emo mm -hmm. because I learned what rock music was as a freshman became part of your personality yeah and then as a senior that's where i felt most comfortable was with rock music and i dyed my hair like blonde i licked the shit out of my chin nice <laughs> i i didn't dye my hair black i dyed my hair blonde because my mom wouldn't let me do it any other color yeah that's weird yeah and then i just uh I embraced it, right? And I learned to smoke weed, and then I became a stoner. So then I identified as a stoner. There's a new one, yeah. Yeah, so I just kept trying to find these labels until... It's until finding yourself. Yeah, until mm -hmm. recently. So when I met you, I was definitely, like, full-on emo, you know? Yeah, For but you, sure. What? You, you still can't consider yourself found, right? Don't you feel like it's ever learning? Don't yeah, definitely. Like when definitely. we were 60, we're going to be totally different than we are now. You but know I mean? now I'm comfortable with whatever comes my way. So I start off as emo. And then mm -hmm. when we start our awakening, I went through the hippie thing. And like I said, Rock on, bro. a couple podcasts ago or whatever, I got rid of all my clothes. Because I didn't <laughs> think I was going to go back to being That was like, the last podcast. I didn't think I was going to go back to being emo until it went full circle. Uh, you went back to being emo. See. And I realized that, you know, it's always a part of me, you know. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of emotions, and I listen to a lot of, like, harder music that helps me express mm -hmm. those emotions. And I just feel things really deeply. But I still like to feel natural, too. So it's... That's why we wash our hair with rainwater. <laughs> Sorry. Let's bring this podcast to life. <laughs> My face is just red. I can feel it. Are you you pissed scared off? the shit out oh. of me. <laughs> Don't hit me. We're on it's camera. not because there's a red light behind me. <laughs> I already hit you. <laughs> But I've watched you, too. You wanted to be a security guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You also oh, had know, the gonna... idea to be a cop, too. <laughs> I, I went to college for that. <laughs> yeah, and so, but all of a sudden, you you know, you went hippie, and then you went rock, and then we realized that you and I, we have a lot of no. the same qualities. Country. Oh, country, hippie, Hippie, rock. rock. And then we realized that it's all the same because i went through a country That's just phase too who i am yeah, yeah. and it's uh yeah you chicken farmer you, you <laughs> I chicken fucker you know i would still be a chicken farmer i know let me get that clear i know but mm. I've, it's not my fault by the way i've never no it's not i've never <laughs> felt like identifying with anything anymore and then this whole gender thing came where people were trying to slap labels on like girls and guys based on what they wear right so yeah Harry Styles is a good example. Yeah. He wears a lot of dresses, but he refuses to talk about anything. He refuses... Whoa, why the fuck would he? It's nobody's business exactly. who he's fucking, man. <laughs> well, it's more than that. It's like, if That's he thinks he's a... If he thinks he's a she, he, or they, he doesn't talk about it because it's unnecessary. Obviously. For him. Some people want the recognition of... Well, some people need the attention. Yeah, or... or but not in a bad way. I don't like... I don't like that phrase. Okay, the way the way it's yeah. I get People what like recognition because that's who they've always strived to be, right? So mm -hmm. I have always, I'm the kind of person who likes attention, right? So I'll, I, if I want to be, like emo, say we go to a Machine Gun Kelly concert, yeah, I want to be perceived that way. Yeah, okay? obviously. Yeah, I'm so going if full fucking rock gear, you know? Yeah, like, so yeah. say uh, <laughs> what you would think is a guy. <laughs> dressed as a woman that's how he wants to be perceived and that's fine you know mm -hmm. perceive it that way because really it's none of your business period what he does behind closed right. doors when women dress like prostitutes doesn't make them prostitutes it's a good example no it? that doesn't make any sense what the heck is dressing are, are you talking like a literal prostitute like <laughs> yeah that's a costume it's an outfit it's a because it's we, a whole ass dave Chappelle skit that we're not getting into we used to live in a place <laughs> where you drove down the street and you could tell they were literal prostitutes right and they all had the same look yeah but like not, they were fucking high yeah and like 
six inch stilettos and shit. You're, yeah. not, you're not talking about like girls that just wear like crop tops and shit though, right? No, of course not. You're talking good. Okay. Good. <laughs> good. I would never step in that fucking no, he wouldn't. pool of <laughs> stuff. He's podcasting with a girl. That's right. He, he fucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What is that? What is what? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna take your beanie off. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Wham! <laughs> you know how epic that would be? It'd be so epic. It'd be too bad that it wasn't live. Yeah. You know? That's it would a... be epic anyway. It's on record. That's, that's how my mind works now as a YouTuber. I'm like, damn, if I get hurt really bad, I hope it's live. <laughs> <laughs> I need it to happen live. Do you like being perceived as a YouTuber? Yes. Yeah? If you had a YouTube shirt on, would you wear it? Fuck like, yeah. Yeah? All the time. Yeah, so you like being a YouTuber. You like that label and the sense of community, right? I do. Yeah. So, because I'm very specific to YouTube. Yeah, so I'm I... I'm not one of them people that are on Instagram and Facebook. No, and I know. I'm and just... I... You can only get me on YouTube. And Spotify and Apple and Castbox. <laughs> All those places you can find podcasts. <laughs> I think you're cool. Thanks, man. I think you're cool. Thanks. I. Um, Why am I cool? What's cool about me? I think you're cool because you don't need a label. No. You know, like, I think that you could... Oh. You could <laughs> say anything about yourself and people would really... Take it to heart and accept you the way you are because you have a great personality. What could I say about myself that would make somebody not like me? I don't know. <clears throat> That's what I'm confused about. What do you mean? Well, because... I think if you give anyone a chance... Yeah, that's... You can find something good about them and enjoy their presence. I enjoy your presence. Thanks. I enjoy presents, too. My birthday's coming <laughs> she up. She does. <laughs> she do enjoy presents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm really bad at that. He's not. He's really not. He's pretty good at giving thoughtful gifts. I hate gifts. when she says that because it puts so much pressure on me to come up with another thoughtful gift. Yet another fuck. You know what? I can't do this forever. <laughs> you better fucking change your mindset. I can't do this You're forever. You're doing this forever. I know. That's how I feel about YouTube. <laughs> I can't do this forever. You're fucking doing this forever, bro. <laughs> forever. <laughs> And on that note, that note we thank, thank you. you.